Welcome to Mathematics with M's, grade 11, thirds. And now we're going to look at how do we rationalize the denominator. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Rationalizing the denominator. Now, the principle of rationalizing the denominator is to remove the third in the denominator. Now, that third, of course, is irrational. Let's look at the three examples. Look at A first. 6 divided by square root 3. So what you do is you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3. You are not changing the value of the original fraction because square root 3 over square root 3 is a 1. Then you multiply the two numerators, 6 times square root 3, multiply the two denominators, square root 3 times square root 3 is 3, and then 3 into 6 twice, and the answer is 2 times the square root of 3. Look at B, now we're dealing with cube root. Now here, you must have to, you have to multiply with the cube root of 2 twice, because I want to end up with the cube root of 8 in the denominator. Why? Because it, then it becomes rational. If I only multiply once with cube root 2, then it's not going to work. So please take note of that. So cube root 2 times cube root 2 gives you cube root of 4 in the numerator. And at the bottom, cube root 3 times cube root 3 times cube root 3 is the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8, of course, is 2. And 2 into 8 is 4. So therefore, the answer is 4 times the cube root of 4. In the C example, slightly different. Now we have two terms in the denominator. So here we're going to apply what we call the conjugate. That means we're going to create sum and difference. If you look at the denominator 4 minus square root of 3, and if you multiply it with 4 plus square root of 3, then it becomes sum and difference. And that is going to help us because sum and difference, you know, we square the 4 and we square the square root of 3. And that is why it's going to work here. So multiply the numerators, 5 times 4 plus square root of 3. And at the bottom, factorize 5, 4 minus square root of 3 times 4 plus square root of 3 gives you 4 squared plus square root of 3 squared, which is 16 minus 3, which is uh, rational. So therefore, remove your brackets, 5 times 4 and 5 times square root of 3. And at the bottom, 60 minus 3 is 13. Right, here's an exercise which you can work through. Do yourself a favor and work out all the examples. And the solution is on the next page. Right, so here are the solutions of the exercise. Please mark your work. And I hope you've benefited from this little video. Enjoy. Uh, this is Ahmed Suleiman from uh, Mathematics with M's. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.